Hello, this is Michael Powell from the Geek Tech blog and Decoders Project, giving you an introduction to web gallery sites in WebMatrix. So we're just going to show you how to use the site from web gallery in WebMatrix. And again, all you would need to do is to go onto here and just view the sort of website you want. So I just want a ASP.NET blogging website. So I'll just select the gallery, I give it a name. So we'll call it CP. Go next. It says that it needs to download um, some files and some software to have it work. This is one of the things I like about Web Matrix. All you have to do is accept, and it will download and install everything for you. So at the moment, again, this one says it will take several minutes, and it's not fair to um, let you watch this. So I'm just going to cut forward to when it's installing. So after it's downloaded, it just comes up here with the application parameters. Again, blog title, things like that. So we'll go to this blog, my name, give myself an email address, and give myself a username and password. Next. And then it's just installing the software. again. As you can see here, everything is done for you. And there we go, and it's installed. Click OK, and it's taken us to the website. And that is it. That is literally all you'd have to do. Again, for any of the software things, any of the um, website galleries you want to use, you will need to set up parameters that it will need, databases, things like that, but anything it needs to download. For example, WordPress. WordPress needs PHP and MySQL um, integration with WebMatrix to work. So there you'll it will download everything for you. It will download the PHP for Web Matrix. It will download the MySQL and install it for you. And all you'd need to do is to set up web set up WordPress Web Matrix to connect to a database and give yourself usernames and passwords and that. But that's it. Again, very simple to set up and very simple to use. Thank you for watching.